Hey there, Pisces. Welcome to your reading for uh, the week of November 21st. We're just going to jump right in here, Pisces. Uh, we're going to do, we're going to kick it old school. We're going to do a past, present, uh, future spread. So we're going to be looking at your past, present, and future. Uh, in the past, you have this wasp spirit. It says sometimes life stings. Um, it, this reading actually looks amazing. <laughs> so, you know, there could have been like a disappointment recently in your past or in your recent past. But look at this. This kind of says to me that some of you are being led to something like much, much greater in your life. So if you had some sort of loss or something that didn't make you happy, you know, I feel like you're kind of going in a new direction. There's like a very strong need not to fall back into something like, like going this way here. You know, you have the sun, five of cups to the moon. Um, you know, to me, that's going backwards, basically. And if you go this way, I mean, look at this, you know, 10 of pentacles, five of cups, disappointment, but you have the ace of pentacles. So it doesn't matter if this is love. It doesn't matter if this is business or what it is. I think it's a little bit of everything, really, Pisces. I mean, you know, you have Jupiter's about to be going direct, depending on when you're watching this, it might be direct already if you're watching it later. Um, so you know, really good time for you. <laughs> really good for money. Really good for love. Really good for projecting yourself out into, you know, the universe, into the world, right? You And you can see here, you know, this reminds me, I'm a nerd. So there's a documentary where they kind of use these bees or these giant wasps, like somewhere, they tie feathers to them and they follow them to their nest, these people, this tribe, I think it's somewhere in Asia. And look, there are feathers right here. So it's kind of popping into my head that for some of you, it's like literally some sort of pain is leading you to success. You have the sun, the ace of wands and the 10 of pentacles here. You know, it's kind of like, I feel that this is maybe what could have been in a situation. Although at the same time, I also feel that this is your imagination. I'm kind of seeing this ace of wands as your, something that you're imagining because the ace of wands is very inspiring. So there's something that is inspiring you to take action. You also have the sun, which is like kind of something that also could be very inspiring, very enlightening, something that could make you happy. It's like you're not quite sure how to get to, to your sun, whatever the sun is for you. I feel that it could be some sort of goal, wish, or dream. You know, take it how it resonates, Pisces. Um, number one, I feel this is like part of the solution. You know, there's a castle that's crumbling back here. So it kind of represents out with the old, in with the new. Uh, as I always say, the Ace of Wands is kind of a card of needing to move towards something new. It's a card of following your inspiration as well. Sometimes I feel like the only thing we need in life is the Ace of Wands. It can just be that spark of life or that spark of inspiration, the thing that excites us and gets us moving. And I feel that some of you have that. I don't really like this sun. <laughs> I love the sun. Don't get me wrong. It, it makes the whole entire reading positive. But... You know, it's almost like if this was a situation that came to an end, I feel like there was holding back. You have this wall behind this baby that's on the sun card. And, you know, that wall kind of represents the wall that we all build up against our inner child, the wall that maybe we where we enter into situations and hold back. So, you know, I feel like there could have been a holding back situation here. I feel based on the fact that you have two aces really says that you're focusing on something new or entering into the new. I'm getting a lot here in this first row, Pisces. I also feel that because of this Ten of Pentacles, that what I, what, like what's popping into my head is that some of you, I feel like you have ideas, but it's like you're falling into old patterns. And this is not a criticism. I just think that, you know, it's like sometimes I think we think, like, we come up with all these like new business ideas or new ideas for work or career. And it's like, we kind of allow our old Pisces self <laughs> to, to like creep in, right? The, 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 the fish that says you can't do it. The fish that says, you know, you, um, you're too dumb or, or whatever, you know? And I feel that that needs to, I think you need to put a lid on that fish and you need to turn the burner up to like high so that you can cook that fish. And you just need to go with the other fish, the one that, the shark, right? Um, you know, this reading is really kind of like telling me that I feel you need to uh, go more towards that shark energy, the energy that's just more moving and aggressive and willing to make things happen. With the sun, you have the Knight of Cups. I do feel like there's a lot of happiness coming in for you. Again, still, um, even though, you know, I feel weird about that sun, again, I don't care where the sun shows up in a reading. To me, it makes the whole entire reading positive. That's the point of the sun. <laughs> so, you know, I, I get a lot of positivity here. A lot of dreaming going on with the Knight of Cups. 
the Knight of Cups, he's standing in front of this river here and he needs to plant seeds in front of him. You know, I always say that he kind of represents needing to put seeds, even though he kind of looks like he's in the desert. You know, there's nothing growing on the Knight of Cups. But if he were to plant seeds by that water, they would grow. So it doesn't matter where he is. You know, I kind of get this feeling for pretty much everyone that the answer is really to just get started. That's why I always say it. It's like, I think that for a lot of us, it's like if we're starting a business or writing a book, it's like the first few things that we do probably aren't gonna be very good. And also, you know, with the time that we're in right now, I would be careful of allowing criticism to get you down because there is a lot of criticism. <laughs> and, you know, what I would say is we just have to work with the energy and just keep one foot in front of the other here. With the Ace of Wands, you have the uh, Hierophant. This could be marriage uh, for those of you that want love. Um, I also just feel that this is Neptune and Pisces. Uh, that's not what the Hierophant represents. I'm just saying that's the energy that I'm getting here. Neptune and Pisces is a challenge to traditional beliefs, like anything that you have believed because either you've always believed it because you were raised to believe it or because you just you know learned something as a child, the sun, right? It's almost like this reading is saying to me, there could be some beliefs that you're releasing that have been holding you back. And again, these could be beliefs that um, you gained when you were a child. I actually feel pretty good about this now. With the Ten of Pentacles, you have the Nine of Wands. You know, why do I get the feeling of trying to protect yourself from success? It's like you could have the Ten of Pentacles, um, you know, but it's almost as if you are afraid of the Ten of Pentacles. <laughs> this could be marriage. It could be um, success. It could be money. It could be anything. In your present position, you have this new moon in Capricorn. It says step up and take the lead, which I think is part of your solution here for sure, is stepping up into more leadership roles. Again, Jupiter in your sign you know, you had it this year, you started planting seeds this year, even last year, right? Uh, maybe when it entered into Pisces and then, you know, obviously retrograded out, but, you know, and then officially moved in this year. We had it this year until it went into Aries. But, you know, what I would say is that I feel like you've been planting a lot of seeds, getting things prepared. And, you know, you're going to be dealing with that Jupiter in Pisces energy for 12 years. Even though it's leaving Pisces, it doesn't matter. It's like I always say, it's like when a planet leaves, you're still learning lessons. And when it comes back around in 12 years, Jupiter's going to say, hey, did you learn your lessons? But you can also benefit from it right now. You don't have to wait 12 years, right? So it's like you're projecting yourself into the world. I think it's no mistake as well, obviously, that Jupiter's entering into Aries, you're, you're, you know, which could be your first house for some of you, could be your second house for a lot of you, I would say. But again, it's kind of Aries is the first house in astrology. It is the projection of something. So I feel like you are projecting onto the world and what you're gonna be projecting is success, plain and simple. You have the Wheel of Fortune, the Five of Cups and the Nine of Pentacles. I kind of feel like you're. this is the place that you are, you know, aiming at. It's like if you had a goal right now, maybe you can't verbalize it. Maybe you couldn't say, Chris, this is exactly my goal. But I think what your goal is, is to get to Nine of Pentacles. That does not mean being single, by the way. I feel this is just being in a place where you have a nice environment. You know, Nine of Pentacles is a card of your environment. Also, being very focused, waking up in the morning, maybe you want to have something to do like a daily practice or a business or work or something like that. So I get like all those things popping into my head. It's like you want focus. I feel like you want some luxuries in your life as well. And, you know, I think this is a great goal. I think this is exactly what you should be working towards. I think it's what Pisces is meant to do as well, because this is like pre-Empress energy. And, you know, to me, having if we had the Empress here, which we might, um, you know, that would represent like a glow up. That would represent you stepping into your, you know, highest vibrational self. And I feel like you're almost there with this energy. You can see this snail right here. And the snail is what represent is what kind of represents your environment because snails wear their homes on their backs. So I would make sure that you're setting yourself up for success. I do feel like you're dealing with some disappointments. I also feel you need to really make sure that disappointments are not dragging you down. Like I'm a Pisces. I totally get it. It's like my whole entire life, I've had certain disappointments in all areas of my life, not just one. And it's like, they've affected me. Like, trust me, I used to be the king of pity parties. I used to have pity parties for like weeks. <laughs> I kid you not, Pisces. And I started having to say to myself, okay, you can have a pity party for 24 hours. You can be cranky or upset or whatever you need to be for 24 hours, but then you have to get your ass moving. You have to stop. <laughs> and um, literally that changed my life. And I kind of feel that here with the Five of Cups. I'm not, I'm not saying that you're like just drowning in your sorrows, but I do feel maybe you've had some things happen. I also think that, you know, 
like I said, if you're working on new projects or anything like that, people might have something to say about it. And I feel like you have to ignore, kind of like ignore these words, you know? You have the Wheel of Fortune. So your fortunes are changing at this time, Pisces. I feel like there are a lot of turnarounds coming in for you and a lot of improvements. Um, the Wheel of Fortune, you can see that there's a snake over here. That snake represents your vibrations and it also represents kind of like using your vibrations to create more success in your life. So I would make sure that you're using your vibes to you know kind of control your reality. Uh, I also feel that for some of you that you are just a little bit more clear again on your personal vision for your life. The Wheel of Fortune is your destiny in the sense that it is your personal vision for your life, like where you see your life going. And, you know, I feel that Nine of Pentacles, for whatever reason, is what you want. And I, I think it's, like I said, I think it's great. I think Nine of Pentacles is perfect for you, especially with um, Jupiter entering into Aries at the end of the year. It's That is like the perfect thing for you to be working on. With the uh, Wheel of Fortune, you have the Eight of Cups. Some of you are walking away from something here. You know, again, if this is a relationship that you're walking away from, I feel you're just onto something new. I mean, literally in your future, you have the soulmate, Soulmates card. It's like you see that there's nothing for you in the past. Wheel of Fortune is like wanting to end a cycle, not wanting to repeat something over and over and over again. And I definitely feel some of you are done with something, especially if it's like an Aquarius, a Scorpio, a Taurus, or a Leo. I think that you're just done with the past in general. So, you know, there you go. <laughs> I don't know what else to say. Uh, with the Five of Cups, you have the Three of Cups. You know, again, I would be careful of anyone trying to come back from the past. I mean, you do you, of course, but I would just make sure if you're going back to the past that you're not repeating a cycle with the Wheel of Fortune. Uh, but I do feel that some of you uh, could be spending a lot of time with family. Obviously, we have the holidays and things like that. So I do like to see that. With the nine of, see, here you go, Pisces. See, <laughs> three of wands, taking the lead. And you literally have that Capricorn card that says step up and take the lead. The nine of pentacles with the three of wands is basically like you moving towards the nine of pentacles. Uh, I also just feel kind of like everything about this card. I feel like some of you are getting results. It's almost as if your, your ships are coming in. Like I feel like things are coming towards you. I also feel like you're putting things out into the world. I would encourage you, for those of you working on projects, to keep like, keep putting things out. I feel that the experimentation is really important for you, which I talk about all the time because we're of the time that we're in. And so I feel like p putting things out into the world and kind of like getting feedback is important. But I would also like don't take too much of the feedback on because, you know, like I said, it's kind of like a, <laughs> you know, there could be a lot of haters is what I'm trying to say. Uh, next in the future, you have the soulmates card. Literally, could be a soulmate. Uh, this card kind of represents any, like just any type of connection entering into your life. It doesn't have to be love. I kind of feel like a lot of connections coming in for you. It wouldn't surprise me if over the next several years, people really just want to be around you. Um, you know, just because you're probably shining bright, you're glowing. So people might want to spend time with you. They might just want to be around you. You could be getting a lot of attention, becoming famous, like all those things. None of that would surprise me, Pisces, over the next few years. So there's like a lot of attention. And I do feel some of you might need to protect your attention, but I also do feel that this could be uh, kind of like love coming into your life. You have the Ace of Pentacles, the Justice card, and the Moon card here. So I feel that this Moon card is actually just you showing up in a very strong position. I do feel a little bit of needing to, you know, I always say there's this path on the Moon card going to these mountains. It can represent mysteries, and it can represent kind of stepping into a mystery, or it can say that maybe you aren't exactly sure what's going on in a situation in your life, but you have to explore it. I also feel this is saying don't run away from something. You know, everything on the moon is a warning to the fool. This is part of the fool's journey. And this card basically says, don't get off your path. Stay stay through to the end. Get to those mountains in the background. The two pillars kind of tell the fool, like, don't change your mind about something. So if you're, especially I'm getting for those of you who are working on projects, especially if it has to do with your inner child. Your inner child is, you know, it could be like turning a hobby into a business, with that sun card, it could just be something that brings out your inner child. So you could be working on projects that excite you, that make you feel joyful or happy. And I feel this is saying like, no matter what, see things through to the end. Do not give up on what you're working on. Uh, as far as love is concerned, I feel that, I mean, I mean, I pretty much feel like everybody is going to be following the rules of justice, as I love saying, because 
justice is like cause and effect. It's like you put a little energy in, wait for them to put a little energy in. And as long as there's a kind of like a nice back and forth where you're kind of giving an equal give and take, then I feel like, you know, things will go very well. It's when you're over giving in relationships that things could not go well. <laughs> so I would make sure that you're kind of giving in all, all relationships, all situations in your life, make sure that there's equal give and take, that you're not like over giving and also make sure that someone is not giving to you. So, you know, make sure there's balance. I do feel like some of you could be dealing with something legal here, but, um, you know, to me, the Ace of Pentacles can represent like an offer or, you know, some sort of closure in a legal situation. So I feel like for some of you, you're probably just kind of closing out some sort of legal situation. The other thing I want to point out here, Pisces, is that there are some mountains right here. So again, with the mountains on the, on the moon card, and the mountains on this card, there's like a new opportunity coming in for you. I feel like it's very fulfilling. I feel it's something that where there's a lot of growth. I always say that the Ace of Pentacles represents the garden. You know, it represents being able to, you know, plant seeds and take care of them and, and watch them grow really, really well. So I feel like there's a lot of growth coming in for you. Can we get more information on this growth? With the Ace of Pentacles, you have the chariot. <laughs> Love it. This is probably the best card you could ask for, especially in this reading. Like I feel this is very specific to this reading. The chariot, he's leaving behind that city that you can see behind him and he's kind of going off on his own. He might be going to like greener pastures. You know, the story of him leaving the city is that the city is very crowded. When you think about a city, it's very crowded. There's a lot of people. So he might be going somewhere where maybe he's set building his own city, where he's building his own kingdom. And I kind of feel like that's what you could be doing, Pisces, is you're looking for a place where you can create your own kingdom. Remember what I was saying about your environment and all this other stuff. So if you have a business, a job, just your life in general, I really see you becoming much more unique, like feeling unique. I, I even think that for a lot of you, that's like the competition, if there is any in your life, cannot keep up. <laughs> so, you know, it's like you're really setting yourself apart here. Again, I always encourage people to focus on co-creation right now because, you know, that's where the most benefits are. But, you know, again, still, I feel like the competition can't keep up. With the Justice card, you have the High Priestess. See, you have two cards of being very neutral. The High Priestess has those gray pillars. I mean, sorry, the... um. The Justice card, there are those gray pillars, which represent kind of like neutral energy. Then you have her, the High Priestess. She's sitting in the middle of the card between the B and the J. Uh, you know, down dirty tarot, not accurate tarot. You could just say this is like the dark and the light. She is sitting between two things. But, you know, the thing about the High Priestess is that she is fully integrated. She does not look at anything as good or bad. She doesn't consider herself good or bad. She understands energy, just plain and simple. So I kind of feel like you're in this very you know, neutral position in the future. I actually see you being very open, which is great. You know, I feel like you're open in the sense that you like things come to you, relationships, businesses, business relationships, pretty much everything. And I feel like you're saying to yourself like, okay, let's see what happens, right? And you're just following the rules of justice. I also feel like you're willing to try things like in the sense that you're being flexible. Maybe in the past in business, for example, you would get an idea and you'd be like, oh, that's not gonna work. I, I see you being more open to just like trying things in the best way possible. With the moon, <laughs> you have the sun. <laughs> so uh, that's hilarious. Uh, I feel like there's a lot of happiness. You know, I feel that happiness is kind of returning to your life in the very near future. I don't think you're gonna be um, waiting at long at all with the moon to the sun. So love it. We're also gonna pull five main themes here, Pisces, in. Uh, see what comes up for you this week. You have this fly card. It says a period of ill health and depression. I, uh, again, these cards are a little bit negative. So I like these cards, but I also kind of don't, but I still like to use them. So here you go. But as I always say, you know, what I would say is Mars retrograde, make sure you're taking care of yourself. Make sure you're not like overworking. You know, I took yesterday off and trust me, I don't like taking days off, kind of messes me up. But you know, at the same time, I took yesterday off because I needed it. So, you know, I feel like for some of you, this is saying, Listen to your body. If you're feeling tired, make sure you're getting plenty of rest. Mars retrograde, I would just, you know, pay attention, you know, is what I'd say there. Uh, you have this dark man card. In it, it, I don't attach gender to my readings is what I'm trying to spit out here. So it says dealings or relationships with a man with uh, dark complexion or hair. So it could be just a darker person, right? Let's see. You have this dog close up. It says pleasure with a close friend. You know, it's interesting. I feel like some of you could be finding love through a friend or someone who's close or, you know, it kind of strikes me that some of you, you have a lot of socializing here. 
it wouldn't surprise me if you're looking for love if you started out as friends with a person first and then it developed into something deeper. Um, you have basically everything here. So it could be any sign. It could be a Cancer, uh, water sign. It could be a uh, Capricorn, Taurus. Mm, you know, it could be anything. <laughs> uh, next, you have this rabbit. It says, too much concerned with sexual matters. I actually like this card because I feel there could be a lot of abundance coming in for you. I would definitely watch out for people. I'm going to clarify this one as well. You have this feather. It says someone you know is undependable and insincere. If you had a connection that was just sexual in nature, then obviously I would be careful of that um, with this energy. But again, I do feel good about the rabbit. I feel like there is a lot of abundance coming in for you. You have this app, uh, this apple card says temptation will test you. Um, I'm going to pull an extra one of these because <laughs> they're all kind of like going in the same direction, which is funny. But, you know, someone from the past could be trying to tempt you and maybe there, it was just like a sexual connection. I would be careful of that. Uh, next, you have this fox. It says shrewdness and resourcefulness, especially in business. It's an amazing time for resourcefulness. You have the nine of pentacles here. Nine of pentacles kind of is a card of resourcefulness. She has three pentacles on one side, six on the other. So she's kind of willing to give three pentacles to any situation that she's dealing with, but she always makes sure to keep more than enough for herself. So in work and business, all areas of your life, make sure to keep enough for yourself here, Pisces, for sure. And then uh, you have this grapes card, time to go out and have fun. Definitely a great time for socializing. If you're looking for love, I feel like that's where you're gonna find love as well. And you also have this ear, it says good news. So I do feel there could be good news coming in for you as well. But uh, this is a really good reading. So thank you for being here, Pisces. Really appreciate it. Make sure to watch your sun, moon, and rising for a full picture of what's going on for you at this time. But thank you and definitely enjoy your week.